Welcome back to episode number 15 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to make the LED and the push button work together. And once again, like I did previously in this series, I'm going to show you the problem we want to solve as a challenge, and then I'm going to write the solution with you step by step. So for this activity, you can create a new project here. And your challenge will be to combine the two components that you have for now, the LED and the push button. So you will power on the LED only when the button is pressed. If the button is pressed, you power on the LED. If the button is not pressed, you power off the LED. So you will need, of course, to initialize your components here. So I advise you to start from a blank page, OK? So you can write all the code from scratch, like here with this empty program. So you will initialize your component and in the loop, you will need, so you will need a if structure, just like we used previously. So you will need the if structure to check whether the button is pressed or not. And then you can decide to take an action, which is power on the LED or power off the LED. All right, and now you can press pause on the video, try to do the challenge by yourself, and then watch the solution. And here is the solution to this third challenge or activity of this tutorial series. So first things first, we are going to initialize here the pins. And before doing that, we are going to use define for LED pin. So this is still pin number 11. And another define for button pin, which is number 2. OK, so for every pin you are going to use in your circuit, in your program here, well, you can just add a define for each pin. And then in the setup function. So here, we're going to use pin mode okay, to initialize the LED pin to output mode and pin mode for the button pin for input mode. OK, so here the order is not really important. You just initialize all the pins. So you could initialize the LED first or the button first. It doesn't matter. And now that the pins are set up, after, directly after the pin mode, so here in the setup or, for example, in the loop function, we can start to read the button state and we can start to control the LED. So in the loop, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write if digital read button pin so if this is equal to high okay and make sure you use two equal sign okay if you just use one equal sign you may have some weird errors here so two equal sign if the button is pressed so we can read this line as if the button is pressed then we are going to power on the led so digital right led pin with high and else so if the button is not pressed we are going to do digital right led pin with low all right and that's about it so now let's verify let's compile i'm going to name it activity three Okay, down compiling, so we don't have any error. And I'm going now to upload the code to the Arduino board. So again, make sure the board is correctly connected. I upload the code. And now, so you should see here, the LED, so nothing happens. So now the LED is powered off. But actually, the LED is powered off because we are in the else here of the if, okay? Because the button... Uh, state is low so we power off the LED. Now I'm going to press the push button so here and you can see the LED is powered on. Okay I release the push button the LED is powered on. I press I release I press I release and every time I press the LED will be powered on and every time I release so every time the button is not pressed the LED is powered off. 
Hey, this is Edward. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series a lot and that you could get some real value out of it. Now, this series is actually a free extract from my much larger course named Arduino for Beginners. This complete course contains 15 hours of content and will take you from a complete beginner to an Arduino maker with a strong intermediate level where you become really autonomous and confident to start any Arduino project you want. So if you like the way I teach and if you want to go further with Arduino, starting from this last tutorial, well, I recommend that you check out the course. The link is in the description. And just in case you're wondering what you're gonna learn, well, here is a sneak peek of what's inside the course. So here is the complete course that you can get with, well, 20 sections, okay, and about 15 hours of content. And if I put uh, here the introduction video, well, here you can see that you're gonna learn the foundations. So the basics, the circuits, programming, digital and analog pins. And so this tutorial series was a part of the foundations, okay? There is not all the foundations, but it's a good part of it. And then you can see we're gonna learn uh, serial communication, work with time, how to debounce the push button, work with interrupts, the EEPROM memory, and then some more um, electronic components, such as the ultrasonic sensor to measure some distance, LCD screen, an infrared remote controller, and also a photoresistor. And at the end of that, well, this is not the end actually, because we have a big final project where we put everything here into action. And so this is the final project, which is an interactive obstacle detector, okay? And so basically that's something that you could add in a robot, okay, to know when the robot is too close or not from an obstacle. So, well, here you can see all the uh, different lectures, okay? So for each section, for example, debounce the push button, we have many different lessons so that you can correctly understand and with some activities. Okay, so for now you've done uh, three activities, okay? Those were the three challenges, but here in this course you have 20, uh, well, here is the last one here, 20 activities plus one big final project, all right? And for each project we do, or each activity, so you get a complete video with step-by-step -step instructions and you can also download the Arduino code, you can download the code for every activity and uh, project we do. Okay, so you have everything here waiting for you. All right, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the course.